Native American clothing and the native headdress is a vital part of the American Indian culture and history. The weaving, beading, and feathering details in each piece of art is very symbolic for each one of the different tribes. Fashion designers in today's society have tried to justify themselves by saying that it is natural for fashion to be recycled and borrowed from different cultures. They also believe to be honoring and appreciating the native culture through their representations. What they do not realize is that the misrepresentation of the Native American culture in the fashion industry reinforces stereotypical expectations. Victoria's Secret Annual Fashion Show is practically synonymous with risque, straddling the very fine line of sexy versus scandalous. So but by some accounts, their latest show strutted across that line when supermodel Carly Kloss walked the runway in this Native American headdress, leopard print bikini, and turquoise belt. The outfit caused outrage, criticized as an offensive display of ignorance towards Native American tribal culture and history. The company responded right away, saying it would not include the outfit when the show airs next month. And issuing this apology, saying, We are sorry that the Native American headdress replica used in our recent fashion show has upset individuals. We sincerely apologize as we absolutely had no intention to offend anyone. The brand did the right thing by apologizing quickly. This is a tremendous publicity opportunity for the company and they don't want to mess that up. We can take your culture, we can take your spirituality, we can take your garb, and we can do what we want with it. But that's not the case. Something, a feather headdress is reserved for our elders. Elders who have spent their lives working to get those what are basically medals of honor. So comparing even a tiki bar to a Native American headdress isn't the same because spiritual and culture are what the headdress is about. It's so if you're, you're going to offend us culturally and spiritually. music festivals where there are these faux feather headdresses and everybody's drinking basically with something that should be a revered garb. Like, I'm Native American, I'm Oglala Lakota, but because I'm Oglala Lakota doesn't mean that I have the right to wear the headdress. Just like a Catholic doesn't have the right to wear uh, the uh, priest's collar or a pope's mitre. It's something not to be belittled, and it is belittled. And as, as Native Americans, this is us speaking up today, saying stop. And we have been saying for a very long time, please stop appropriating our culture. But people haven't been paying attention. But with the when Native Americans publicly denounced the wearing of a full feather headdress and Native clothing at music festivals and in fashion spreads, they are simply asking people, especially those who influence the mainstream media, like celebrities, fashion designers, and other industries, to stop profiting from stereotypes proven to harm and dehumanize Native people. Through appropriation of the Native culture, the dominant culture has forgotten that Native Americans are contemporary and modern people like us. Many Native American designers have taken it upon themselves to represent the Native culture appropriately. Many of them have designed pieces of artwork that generally represent the way they grew up and currently live. It is important to promote, support, and appreciate each of the 566 unique and federally recognized tribes in the United States. A major issue to consider is the cultural and religious significance present in Native art, jewelry, and apparel. Each tribe has unique and very specific meaning embedded into their art, crafts, and jewelry. Despite what dominant society and mainstream media say, 
Native culture is alive and present, and if people are inspired by that, they should take a personal responsibility to educate themselves. If non-natives decide to buy Native art, they should wear or display it with respect for the culture it represents. So if you appreciate Native art, American design, we encourage you to buy from Native American artists, particularly those artists who are connected to their communities and who know that sacred items or symbols should never be used inappropriately. Born from the ashes. Born from the ashes.